uh, on any given day has asked me to do more than I was doing the day before or the week before or the month before. And even that, my brothers and sisters of Christ, do we have the inner fortitude? Do we really desire to sacrifice to the extent that we're asking our Lord specifically for that? Lord, give me the opportunity today to lay down my life for you. Give me that opportunity. When I was in the seminar, I was going through a period of time uh, where I was just contemplating on this whole idea of martyrdom. And John the Cross, Dark Knight of the Soul, and you know, I ask you, our Lord, for, Lord, if this be the day you ask me to lay down my life, I will. I have to be honest, I got over that pretty quickly. I did. And really when I became a priest, because there's the other part of it that, yes, martyrdom is a great gift from our Lord, but as a priest, really are I not called to serve people day in and day out and make sacrifices for them, right? But we're all called to do this. We are really all called to do this. Now, here at Santa Rosa, little Santa Rosa, uh, you guys have probably all experienced what Jesus was experiencing in his, his hometown, right? Can't be a prophet in your own town. Try to evangelize about Jesus, maybe to your close friends or family, but maybe even some in your family start evangelizing to Jesus. They don't want to hear it. They start, you know, pushing back. I remember when I was uh, first working and I did my first Mass out here in uh, uh, St. Anthony's of Padua in, in Pecos. And uh, then the following weekend, I went back to my seminary area and I celebrated the first Mass for all my friends up in Connecticut that I, that I made over the five years I was in seminary. But then I went back to my whole parish in New Jersey, where everybody knew me. And all they know is I disappeared for five years. That's how I just disappeared. Went to the seminary. I was in the seminary for five years. And now I'm back. I'm celebrating Mass in the local church. And I knew they'd be saying, wow, who's this guy? Right? I mean, we know him. You own the local restaurant. You're a local politician. Right? You know. Who are you? Right? And I said to myself, what, what am I going to say to these people? What am I going to say to them? Well, I'll tell you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we can always, always, always talk to people about our sinfulness. About our sinfulness in Christ's mercy to us, right? How he's forgiven us, our sins. Now, we have been in difficult places in our lives at any given time. And how our Lord, in spite of our sinfulness, has been merciful to us. And I came to realize then that that really was the way of opening the door to talk to anybody, anybody about Jesus and anyone about our Catholic faith. And of course, it goes back to what Jesus said about taking the log out of our eye. Right? That log is what? Right? The mercy that our Lord has given us. Take it out, look at it, and tell others about it. And once we do that, it opens up their hearts, their minds to hear the message. The message we really want to give them, the message of Christ's mercy in our lives.